What's up everybody and welcome back to another video from the Scalar Learning Channel. This video is a little bit off topic of what I normally talk about, but it's a video that I think is very important to make and something that I really wanted to provide to all of you guys and it's about the word genius. The word genius is thrown around way too often for my liking and I feel like a lot of folks don't really even understand what it means anymore and it creates this false narrative that certain people have certain natural attributes. And when we say natural attributes, it means they come into this world with a certain knack for something and that's it. It's God given and nothing can touch that. First and foremost, I wanna to go to the dictionary definition of what it means to be a genius. Genius defined as a noun means exceptional intellectual or creative power or other natural ability. Now overall, I'm okay with that definition except for the fact that it bears on this idea of natural ability. This is where I have an issue with that word and I want to break down exactly why. This word is thrown around freely for people who have amazing artistic abilities. Man, they're a musical genius, they're a painting genius, etc. Obviously academics is no different. They're a math genius, they're a literary genius. Now if it solely were to mean that this person has cultivated an amazing skill set through practice, devotion, dedication, of course I'm totally fine with that. But the issue that I want to address is that when this term is said, I think a lot of people naturally imagine that, oh, if they have this amazing ability, it was God given and that's their gift. And man, I wish I could have that too. The reason why I bring this up is because it has great application to the study of mathematics and in particular preparing for standardized tests. If we fall into this trap that certain people that do great are just geniuses, then we remove the notion in our minds that we can achieve those same heights. I've heard this word thrown at me through my YouTube comments that, hey, this guy must be a math genius and the thing is is that is a dismissive statement because it doesn't acknowledge all of the hours and time and thought and care that I put into studying these standardized tests and being able to develop the fluidity and the skill that I have. It's something that I honed and developed and poured tons of work into to have. At the end of the day, it's easy to look at people who are really good at certain things and say, man, they're a genius because it's a quick and easy explanation. But I would have to say in almost every case, it's totally wrong. It's just that you don't see the hours of dedication and work put in. There's a really cool image that shows how we perceive success success from the outside. For example, you might look at an actor who's achieved the greatest heights of fame and fortune. You only see the really popular movies, but you don't see all the auditions and the acting classes and all the time that went into cultivating that skill set until they finally broke out onto the scene. And this image is an iceberg where all you see for success is the very top of the iceberg, but you don't see all that ice beneath, which is all the years of dedication and hard work to get there. A lot of times people that we call quote unquote geniuses are workhorses. They put in the time and dedication and that's the point of this video. I truly believe that everybody has the capability to be a quote unquote genius. What I mean is to develop and cultivate that amazing skill set in the area where you have deep interest in obsession or just a complete hunger to gain mastery in a particular subject matter. We all have that ability. You just got to find that hunger or really nail down a goal that is important to you and go for it. Of course, this ties back to test prep and really wanting to achieve the best of the best in terms of results. So I hope you take this message from that vantage point and apply it to whatever you're trying to achieve. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please click that like button and if you want to see more from the Scalar Learning channel make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.